In this tutorial, I'll show you how to model and render a rolling pin. I'll post a link to this tutorial's reference image in the description below. Create a curve point, and press the 3D button. If you don't see the curve point, please activate an add-on called Add Curve, Extra Objects. Turn off the normal indicator. Extrude the curve point. Please make sure the Z is set to zero. We need to select the sharp edge points and press V and A to turn them into smooth edges like this. Use the Bezier handle like this to match the reference image's overall rolling pin shape. Let's mirror it and apply the screw modifier. It's kind of confusing to do this while mirroring a curve. Let's remove the mirror modifier and work on the screw modifier first. Add more steps to smooth the mesh. Convert this curve object to mesh. We can bevel the vertical edges like this. Let's set up the render scene by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Numpad 0. Create a ground plane and turn it into a light bouncing wall.
Please apply the PBR images and match my node settings. We need to UV unwrap the mesh. The easiest way to do this is by using the smart UV unwrap. Rotate the UV 90 degrees on the Z axis. Add a new plane as the light source by equipping it with an emission shader. Please watch a tutorial listed in the description to match my final render settings, as I'm using a cloned look dev HDRI setting. On this light source mesh, add a track to constraint to the main mesh like this. Notice something odd on the cutting board mesh? That mesh had to be UV unwrapped once again as well. Here's the result after applying a smart UV unwrap. This is the end of the rolling pin tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.